So today we're releasing some cattle into our prairie so that we can introduce some um, rotational grazing. And what this is going to do is it's going to simulate our historic grazers that we would have had in the region. We have a lease contract with Black Swamp Cattle and they'll be doing some rotational grazing. So the grazers are different than our browsers because the grazers really focus on those, those grasses so that we can actually graze certain areas heavier and um, other areas lighter so that we're able to control what plants the cattle are targeting. When you drive down our Oak Openings Parkway, you will see some cattle fencing that's up. The cattle fencing is a electric fence, so we're asking the public to stay out of the area um, for a lot of reasons. Our prairies are not areas where we want people to be walking around anyways during ne ground nesting bird season. Today went really well. It just got right off the trailer, nice and slow and easy, and got right to eat, very low stress. As of right now, we have two cows with two of their calves with them. Um, as the year goes on, there will be another calf that will be born here and the possibility of a few more cattle being brought out to help manage the growth. This is called patch burn grazing. So in the Midwest, they've been doing this type of grazing for a long time. And what you do is you burn an area in patches and the cattle are attracted to those freshly burned patches because that's where fresh vegetation sprouts. We keep the cattle in a single day paddock in which they are able to graze through a certain area at one time. We move them on to the next area to then give rest to where they graze, control their grazing and control the impact on those plant species so that we can kind of sculpt the prairies and get the diversity that we're really trying to get here. At Metro Parks, we have a lot of different techniques that we use um, to, to manage our prairies and savannas. But again, we're realizing that we don't have these grazers, kind of a missing component. And what's happening in all of our prairies in the region is a lot of these warm season grasses are really becoming more dense than we would like them to be. So we are trying to control the density of the warm season grasses which is, just gives our prairies more structure. So you have low, low growing grasses, um, very dense grasses, very sparse grasses, which is better than for our ground, different ground nesting birds. So this is a project that we're hoping to be able to utilize throughout our prairies and our metro parks. We're gonna be doing a lot of vegetation monitoring, some bird monitoring. In the Midwest, they've had a lot of success with this, but we would like to have more information about how this really impacts our oak opening species, so something just more specific to the oak opening region. So if people wanna follow along with what we're doing here, you can follow us on Instagram at Black Swamp Cattle or visit our website at blackswampcattle.com.